Switching gears now, bowl game announcements are being made across the country, and one of them is happening right here in Shreveport. The Independence Bowl made their decision of who will be facing off in this year's matchup on December 16th. NBC 6's Jitta Finamonte shares more. I'm here with Director of Communications for the Independence Bowl, Eric Evenson. Eric, it was just announced that these matchups, it's going to be the Cal Golden Bears representing the Pac-12 and Texas Tech representing the Big 12. Tell me about a matchup like this between two Power Fives. Uh, very exciting. Our first Power Five matchup since 2016. So it's a big deal for the bowl to, uh, to get two Power Five teams. Cal and Texas Tech, both really good brands in college football. So uh, that should be great for TV viewership and just the magnitude of this matchup. But then uh, having... Uh, uh, Texas Tech within driving distance also helps with uh, getting people in the stands. That's always our goal is getting people in the city of Shreveport, staying in our hotels, eating at our restaurants, coming into town to enjoy a great bowl week. So we're really excited about this matchup. Should be a great, a great day and a great game. Well, and it is Cal's first bowl game since 2019, so hopefully their fan base will also travel well too, is right? Yeah, absolutely, and yeah, that's a that's a program with a lot of history. I think I read that they were uh, 37th all time in uh, in wins. This is uh, I think their 24th bowl game, so uh, they have a lot of history uh, in the Cal program. So that's exciting, and uh, hoping that uh, their fans come out here and enjoy uh, the Louisiana uh, hospitality here. And for the people who can't, it is a prime time matchup on ESPN. What magnitude does that like bring for this exposure for the bull? It's huge. We we see this as a three uh, a three hour commercial for the city of Shreveport for the Shreveport Bossier City area. So uh, we've averaged just under three million viewers the last few years on ESPN. So to get that that magnitude of viewership on ESPN, showing uh, people not from here the uh, the area and everything there is to do here is a is a huge plus. So uh, we're really excited about that 8:15 primetime kick Saturday night. It should create a a fantastic day of football. Well, and for the local people who maybe want to come and enjoy a nice game just down the street from their house, what kind of fan activities will be offered, some maybe in-game entertainment for the Independence Bowl this year? Yeah, so uh, it'll start with Fan Fest. Coca-Cola Fan Fest starts at noon. It'll run through uh, 7.30. We'll have two different uh, bands. We'll have a, a, a DJ as well, so there'll be music throughout the day. We'll have a kid zone with inflatables, face painting, uh, all sorts of uh, cornhole, uh, different games to play at Fan Fest, so that'll be really fun. This year at the game also, uh, we're excited. We're going to have uh, Sonic, Texas Roadhouse, and PJ's Coffee as some of our concessionaires at the stadium. So that should just add to uh, add to the the fan uh, the fanfare during the during the game. And then we'll also have um, some trivia, some fan cams, all different stuff like that. So it'll be a fun night. Uh, we're excited. Don't have to go, go go to bed early this year. You know, it's a Sunday. You can uh, enjoy the uh, the day off after the Independence Bowl. Well, we're looking forward to covering it as well. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Back to you guys. All right, Jenna. Thank you so much.